What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beast, where I, the Beast, hang out with Peanut Kate, the Beauty, and we talk to you guys about current events in our lives. Today, we're going to talk about something that's pretty cool and interesting and something I think we can both kind of relate to. Maybe not. Some questions, maybe not. We're going to give you guys the answers to 10 questions not to ask an interracial couple. Are we interracial? I mean, not. Mm, I, I guess thought, so. I thought we were both a part of the human race. Yeah, I haven't watched well, enough episodes of Star Trek, but I thought we were both a part of this race. Yeah. You know, yeah. I guess, you know, I'm considered Afro Indian. Um, what's the. You're well, Nigerian. Nigerian what? and Welsh. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I mean, if we mix it up like that, are we all really the same? Anyway, this comes from Bustle.com, and it's pretty cool because I guess these are questions you don't want to ask an interracial couple because I guess it creates friction. Um, Why? What? Well, some people don't like to answer questions, you know? Like, what year, <laughs> what year were you born? All right, so number one question is... How dare you? But what will your kids identify as? So this is a question I've heard from people over the last 15, 20 years about having interracial children because I am an African-American male. You know what I'm saying? Testosterone. I got a beautiful Caucasianite. Like super white. Yeah, <laughs> like my, the whitest of the white. Yeah, she's Slavic. So Russian, Croatian, and German. It don't get no more Slavic than that. I mean, they made the word slave from Slavic. So these are the most Slavic people you ever meet. And so we have children who are a mixture of the two of us. We have four of them, three uh, dames and one lad. How are they going to identify? Do you think they're going to identify well, as what they, uh, their individual per, uh, personality, or what do you think? I mean, right now they all identify as mixed. Like they understand they're two different kind of cultures mixed into one. It's it's yeah, it's very very subjective to me. It's like uh, yeah. The beauty is my, my my oldest daughter today was playing some music that you couldn't get, get caught dead playing in the hood. She said, Daddy, I have a song for you to listen to. And I was like, and I just looked at her and I was like, thank God for your mother. That's the only way you're going to survive playing that. But she was um, jamming out and sometimes I hear them playing down for my by C murder. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I guess it's, They'll dig in and find what fits them, but I, I I haven't seen any consistent racial identity in either any of our children. It's almost like they understand by watching a mother and father who are of different ethnic race uh, race backgrounds how similar we are. That the color of our skin really doesn't matter to them. Now it probably doesn't work that way in a lot of society, especially here in the, in the West in America. Um, for the most part, black people have a very, very different culture than white people. So it's more, you know, hood, you know, street culture, um, hip hop culture, you know, gang culture. <clears throat> and, um, but, but I didn't come from that background. I came from a, a, a different type of background family. And so our children are kind of being raised in a very similar, consistent type of upbringing. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, they get a little bit of both, and it's like they can vibe with both of our cultures, and it's it's just normal to them. It's just what they are. It's who they are. I mean, people might see you and think that you just watch Gilmore Girls or oh, you do. That's like your favorite show. That's Nova's favorite show. Um, but 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 it's also a like lot in common. And so it's almost like it's yeah. not like we have two different cultures. We have the same streamline streamline culture, but we have little offshoots that are different that we, we both yeah. enjoy. And it's like the main thing is we we like the same music, which is a big deal. The same you know? everything, same yeah. movies, the same everything. So we have a lot in common, and our daughters can. It's kind of like um, a petri dish of love. They can just pick and choose from both of us things that suit them, the things that work inside their psyche, and uh, I think it works out best that way for, for interracial children, so It's kind of like whatever they feel in their soul, you know? It's like however they are feeling 
is who they are and it's like they have a mix of both of that yeah and i think it, it works out for all of them especially the new guy he's something yeah. else all right so the second question is so you met online <gasps> <laughs> yes we did no we met at work we met at work look she's wearing the shirt from 14 years ago and that shirt has la- uh, uh, lasted the test of time show, yep. show everybody where we used to work baby Fastenal we worked at Fastenal and, and I'm 10 years older than this mm-hmm. young lady and she was she wasn't even 20 years old yet I don't know what she saw in me but uh, we met at work and we uh, you know I saw her and I, I made a couple of jokes and she was just receptive to my personality and we just vibed and had a blast, and we've been together every day since. It's been uh, every day. <laughs> was that a, was that a good every day or a bad every? Yeah, day? no, good, yeah. Okay. Like how how can you spend every single day with somebody and still want to be around them every single day? Yeah, it, it's very very true. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen to people. I talk to people all the time, you know, in my daily life, uh, who who live different types of realities. I, I couldn't imagine being without you. I feel like, uh, and this is not, you know, for YouTube, I guess it is, but couldn't imagine not being without you for a day, you know, after all these years. So it's, it's really something special. I'm really, really, really happy, really happy it happened the way that it did. Uh, a huge blessing. Yeah. Number three question. Was it weird when your parents met? <laughs> um, so oh. I think our moms met when I had Nova. And that was just a whole situation of foolishness okay <laughs> it's not like it was bad but it was interesting well it was okay. interesting because you were laying on the bed in probably the worst pain you ever felt in your life and you had two very talkative and exactly uh, three three very talkative people in the room okay. i was in the room too i was keep, yes. i was trying to keep the, the energy light um, um but they got along great yeah and, and they got talk about great. your father and my father Oh my gosh, we had no idea how much they would have in common. It's insane yeah. how much they love to get together and just talk about all the similarities and the people they knew and the places they went. It's great. I love it. It's almost like we were meant to be together. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. Uh, my father and her father, they, they, they both come from a very small town in Ohio. They both know the same people. I mean, the same producers on TV, just kind of crazy stuff. And you know, the little the little details in these stories and then one will turn and ask the other one the question and say do you know this person what street they lived on then, then the other one will say yeah the street and then everybody else will be like what the hell's happening <laughs> how is it possible that these two know you know the, the intricate details of each other's lives like that it really blows my mind plus they like the same kind of movies too it's really really good. I I love when they get together it's great all right, number four. Have you always been into insert racial category? So have you always been into big, burly, black, articulate men? And for me, uh, beautiful blondes. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but it's not like I was ever against it either. You know, I was just, you know, whoever I could see myself hanging out with, being around, vibing with, as people say, you know. It was just whoever, but I'm glad I found you. I'm really, really happy I found you, too. Mm-hmm. This is some damn good wine. I feel like Arsenio Hall, when he ate that cheese, he slapped somebody. said, some damn good cheese. Um, <laughs> cheese. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. Um, you're the first white woman, Caucasian woman, uh, outside of African-American woman I've ever been with in my life. And uh, it was... Um, so that answers the question there. No, I have not always been into, but I'm, I'm into you. Yeah. So it is what it is. Very, very happy about that. Uh, the number five question. So are the stereotypes true? He loves chicken. Ah, fantastic. Absolutely. And she, she loves Michelob, even though every time I say it, she says, it sounds amazing, but I don't know what it is. I have no idea. You always say that in um, Grey Poupon. Grey Poupon. That's, that's, that's Mike. What is that? Mike. Grey Poupon is a Dijon mustard. Come on. Embrace, I'm not white your, embrace your European roots, girl. Pull up in a, in a limousine next to me. I roll down my window. I'm bumping my 12s. And I look at you and you say, can you pass me the Grey Poupon? Grey Poupon. That's how the, the socialites 
the high society live. They drive around the town eating crackers and caviar, and then they pull up to limousines, one limousine next to another, they roll down the window slowly and say, pardon me, can you pass me the Grey Poupon? And the other one will reach out, hand in the Grey, you never see these commercials? <laughs> oh my I, God. No, I have, yeah. I have seen it. Grey Poupon. Um, but I swear I never made the connection of what it really was. Very rich, wealthy motherfuckers like, who I'm did not, not care about you yet. Well, they're driving around looking for, for Dijon mustard, and that's real talk. That's what they do. All right, so what language are you going to speak with your kids? So this refers to, we're going to tie that idea right here and make sure our, our kid never get no job because they don't even care about explaining the last syllable of every word. Or are we going to teach our children to speak in a way that reflects that their parents care about their future and want to ensure that they want to get as far as humanly possible in the trajectory of their life? So that's the question. I vote for Ebonics. <laughs> we won, Shaolin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got one for them right now. So, of course. Um. Who wouldn't want to teach their children proper grammar? I mean, it's like, just teach them English the way it's supposed to be said, and you're good to go. As, like, as long as, you know, we're we're down here in Georgia, as long as there's no K in the word street, and there's no orange in the word orange, you know, let me explain. So, okay, I'm driving. You know it's called street. It's street down now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always have to say that three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, you always want to give your children the best advantage you can. And and it's not about speaking like, you know, you're from Europe or super west, but at least being yeah. at least being able to speak your native tongue. You know, I like you know, I see that my people, black people like to, you know, we 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 call back to Africa quite a bit. But we don't That's not how we speak. You know, we, we speak English, so you can have, uh, you know, respect for your homeland, but still learn properly to speak your native tongue. That's like seeing a person moonwalk and then you ask them what they're doing and say, this is how I learn how to walk. People walk, so figure it out. Don't, don't be crazy and don't mess things up. So to me, that's pretty simple. Okay, number seven. Aren't, aren't you so sad that Heidi and Seal broke up? So <laughs> this is Seal, the singer. And his model wife, Heidi, I, I forget what her last name is. It, cl- I can't remember. But Seal, Am I supposed to know who they are? Seal is the, the African-American, not African-American, but he's, he's a black singer. He has horrible pop marks on his skin. He sings a song, fly like an eagle to okay. the sea. So he and his wife broke up. And I guess that since you and I are in an interracial relationship, oh. we're supposed to keep up with that because that's like the Beyonce and Jay-Z of interracial people. Um, yeah, we don't care about any celebrities Ugh. or famous people at all. Not a lick. So, uh, Not a lick. <laughs> we wouldn't care or even know about that happening. Yeah, so I, like when I told you earlier, I was like, this question is about, and you were like, cool. I was like, we'll just say that for later. We don't follow any of that stuff. You know, we, we try to be as, as, as centered on reality as possible. We don't get hung up on relationships and love lives and deaths of people we'll never meet, never met, don't care about. <laughs> We yeah. do care about our own family, just like you should, too, in the Beastly Castle. Um, so the number eight question is, your mom wasn't mad, was she? My mm-hmm. mom or your mom? Mm-hmm. I wish... So, yeah, I'm guilty here. Uh, my, my mother... My mom's a very, very introverted person. She, it's not that she's a racist person. My mom is yeah. very introverted. As in, like, uh, she has siblings that she hasn't seen in 20 years. Like, she's the kind of person who would show up to her my grandmother's funeral, and she'd be, like, standing on the third floor balcony window in the curtain, staring at the body. My mom is that kind of person, you know. Was she there? Yeah, she was there. No, that was a ghost. No, it was my mother. I know it was my mother. So that's the kind of stuff my mom would do. But when I first met my wife, of course, before we were married, I, I knew she was a really down-to-earth, cool person. I took her over to in- introduce her to my mother. And uh, my mom, she, like, forced us out of the house. Like, so she didn't want to see her. And she didn't want you to see her. 
So she like was like, ow, 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 ow. And uh, it was one of the craziest things because you're the only one of my, my mother's children's wives that actually stuck around. And that she wants like everybody to find one yeah. and, and that I'm so much like her now. Yeah, and amazing. Well, uh, she said that for years. But... And she loves me more than you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> mind that. I don't mind that. That means you won't get the butt whoopings and stuff that I got when I was a kid. So it's all good. But yeah, my mother was very, very... Um, Initially, like the first week, she didn't want to see anything. And yeah, it was it wasn't because I was white that yeah. had nothing to do with at it at all. So please don't think that's how my mother was. My mom's husband's white. Yeah. So, uh, my 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 stepdad's a wonderful guy. He passed away, God, seven eight years ago. But um, he's a white guy. So it's not about race. My mom's very introverted. She didn't want to meet her. She thought I was just trying to splack a lap down the streets in Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, she's she didn't regret. want me in her house. You're not, you're not going to be this ain't serious and so she didn't know so she was kind of apprehensive but uh let's talk about your mom your dad how, how do you think they uh... uh well my dad didn't want to meet you at all just because he didn't he didn't like anybody i ever like had anything to do with like any boys Check it out. i met him uh we were going to get a checkup and uh just make sure everything was good we were getting ready to have a baby and uh he came to the hospital, and uh, your mother was like, "Oh, this is, you know, this is Peanut's husband, uh, fiance." And I extended my hand. I said, "Nice to meet you, sir." He said, "I don't want to shake your hand." I said, "Well, <laughs> fantastic." But after what a day or two of, of us being around each other, you understood that was yeah. the real deal. And yeah. now he loves you like. That's when he bit his finger and the blood came out and he signed his name on the paper and handed me the papers and she's yours now take care of herself. Mm. It is what it is. It was it was it was great getting to know that. My father actually was so surprised that I, that I was with you. He drove to Ohio to uh, to see, to see to me to meet you in person. So I mean, it was really really something else. But um, you see, that was number eight. All right, number nine. Whose food do you really like better? Mine or yours or like black people's ethnic, or white people's? Ethnic food, yeah. Well, I grew up, my mom c couldn't cook. <laughs> so, oh, I grew up with that. My dad can cook, but I was never really at his house often enough. So I would say your mom's cooking was way better than my mom's. <laughs> We, we got us another one, guys. We got, you know, it's for, <laughs> but, that, for that salt and pepper. Uh-uh, but now I can make fried chicken better than anyone you've ever had, so. <sighs> you see what happens, guys? Be careful of this, all right? Like, I got you on the on This the one hook. woman makes the like... best chicken. Look, real talk. Kate could, she can survive in any hood. She can also, walk in there. Also, hot wings. You know, 2045 after the dollar has fallen and we're into, like, a new civil war. She would come walking in there with a bandana and one leg and a, a pot of fried chicken and survive. That yep. chicken is too good. I mean, real talk. My hot wings, too. Yeah, yeah. Her, her hot wings uh, almost made my brother-in-law leave her sister for her. He's like, oh, please, please, please. I've never had chicken this good in my life. Stupid. But yeah, all right. So real talk. I would say probably soul my, food is way yeah, better. Pro probably soul food for sure. You even know the, yeah. the, the proper term for it, girl. You've been around here. You've been up. I've for been a while. cooking it. Right. Yeah, I've been up for a while. If you know where that's from, uh -huh. G. the office uh, and his what was his name? You, you shouldn't have told them. Well, if they didn't know, they're supposed to guess about. in the comments. Uh huh. All right, let me see. Last question, guys. Do you think you'll stay together? I don't think there's a possibility of never being together. It, like, it, I can't even fathom a world where that's true, you know? Uh, that's that's the terrifying thing because you know in reality anything's possible, right? The, the way I see it is this. Um, your word's supposed to be your bond. Your, your love for someone's supposed to be your bond. Your respect for someone's supposed to be your bond. And I know that it's been 14 years of me being with you, you being with me and being married. And my, my ring's not on right now, guys. But yes, we're very, very married. Um, and, and having four children and being happy together. Um, my mind says it can never happen. 
But of course, in reality, some it's some something crazy could could happen. But You're just a hater. I think I think if it's up to us, uh, and up to our word, it'll never happen. I'll never leave. I mean, I'm very very happy. I mean, you guys see my wife. Shit, she's a beautiful woman, man. I mean, you don't get more beautiful and, than that. And I play video games. <laughs> well, all right. And do awesome Legos. Oh, yeah, and she cooks every single night and, and cleans the house and fried chicken. She <laughs> she put them little Legos together. Look at look behind her, guys. Show people that, babe. Oh, that super tight. I, got, I don't want to pick it up. But. Okay, well I got her that. Show them the back of the cartridge. This whole thing, that Nintendo, that TV, the TV actually moves. That entire yeah. setup is Legos. This. That's Legos. Yeah. yeah so that I could put the game inside. But... Yeah. She's always got something cool over there on her desk. It's all Legos. <laughs> bang, bang. Don't get much better it's than that. It's so sick. It's so sick. Yeah. Wow. I wish Legos would sponsor us. Just send me all the free Legos. Legos, send us a sponsorship. We'll, we'll hey, work yeah. on it for sure. Well, guys, that's the video for today. We wanted to come and hang out with you guys on our weekend. We get a little bit of time off. If you guys haven't done it yet, please leave a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Definitely do that. Help the alg algorithm. And for you guys who haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Subscribe to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'm Kate. And we'll see you guys next time.